Hello folks, I'm Ryder Boost and in this brief video we take a look into freshly updated pressure network catalog for Civil 3D 2022. It can be used also in previous versions with some differences, but I'm using 2022 and will explain what has been changed and what makes it different from maybe default or other packages that are available. Of course, we downloaded it from Autodesk App Store. You have to be current user of Autodesk software, meaning that uh, you need to have Autodesk account. You can freely create it. And then this content pack is also free to download. Once you have downloaded it, for example, onto your desktop, then you can install it. It's a simple installation, but uh, you have to ensure that uh, Windows doesn't block it. So just double click setup.exe then you agree that uh, you want to install. You can also read license agreement, then you pick just accept the agreement and you hit next. Now you can select into which catalog or folder you want to install this content pack. Because this content pack does have multiple um, databases and quite many actually, then maybe at least at the beginning, maybe it's easier if you select some subfolder for example, if I'm a metric user, then default Civil 3D 2022 pressure pipe catalog is metric. But I will include, for example, EN and using this installation path, I hit next. And now you can select which catalogs you want to install. So this is one of the biggest changes in this release that the content has been divided into different databases. And each database will be recognized which standard has been used to create one. And also based on that, if it's a generic content or if it's manufacturer specific content. Again, at the beginning, I suggest that you do a full installation, but uh, you can select custom installation and then you can select which content you want to have. You can see that uh, European standards has been used to generate um, pipes content, but also some manufacturer specific fittings and also hydrants, which are also standard based. Depending on your screen resolution, you may want to resize or make it smaller so that you can more easily see the content that you can select. So currently I'm doing full installation. I hit next and then I click install. Once the installation is finished, we can take a look to the location we picked to see the structure, how it has been built up. So I hit finish and now if I go to my default pressure pipe catalog path, as you see, I do have default Civil 3D content packs. And then I have my subfolder EN that I created during installation. Again, you can pick whatever folder you want to have. And if I top click this EN, I can see now different databases. And each one of them do also have a note to the standard, which has been used to create one. You can also uninstall this package directly from this location or from Windows apps list. But let's now move to Civil 3D 2022 and uh, let's see those content packs in action. I will fire up my Civil 2022, but yes, it can be used also in previous versions with some differences and uh, I create a new drawing based on default metric template. But you can also use uh, your own drawing, pre-made drawing. Once my drawing has been opened, I can start to create my parts list. But first I need to set pressure network catalog. In here I simply select my default database, but in pressure network catalog I can also include multiple catalogs. So default one is push on SQLite, but I will change my location to EN folder, my install folder. If I haven't selected it, then obviously I would select my databases directly. But uh, if I change my location, then I can select also new catalog. Once again, I can include additional catalogs once I start to create my parts list. So, anyone works, of course, if you intend to use it, just select one of them. 
And then I go to Pressure Network, Parts Lists, right-click a new, and I give a name, for example, Pressure Water. I can see that one catalog is already included, but I can load more. For that, I click Load New Catalog. And from here, I can select any other catalogs I want to use. Please note that Electrofusion fittings and Segmented fittings are now in different databases. And you can always mix and match your catalogs. Now I go to Pressure Pipes, right-click, Add Material, and I select my pipes, then PE or Polyethylene. Now I do right-click to include sizes that are available in this particular catalog. I hit OK and now I can see quite many different uh, pipe diameters, including also PE100 or PE40 and also SDR class. If I want to limit this list, I can give a name, just maybe some addition, for example, I don't know, SDR17, and then I can just filter out uh, those pipes that I don't need. In that way, my list is lighter and just easier to use. But let's move forward. Fitting tab, and in here I just add another catalog, my Electrofusion fittings, and I select elbow, cap T, coupling and reducer, and in the same way I just add sizes. Just clicking add all sizes in all those five items. Just like that. And once this is finished, I don't have any appurtenances right now, then I can finish up my definition of parts list and I can start drawing my pipeline. Let's do that. Let's now draw some pressure network pipelines. For that, I select pressure network tools. I select my parts list, pressure water. I can also give a name and uh, select my default pipe size, but I can change those later as well. For example, let's pick uh, DN250 from SDR26, and then a separate ribbon tab is given, and I can start to draw my pipeline. Obviously, I'm quite zoomed out. I zoom in to just draw a smaller line, and then just left-clicking to include also fittings. But if my fitting database doesn't have that kind of fitting for that particular pipe size, then obviously I can't include it, because in this list I can also see that uh, my fittings are ending with 180. Again, you can mix and match different uh, databases, different fittings, but uh, in my case I will start again a new pipe run, and maybe then I select just a smaller pipe diameter. For example, 125. I create a new pipeline, Again, pressure water, I select my starting point, and now I can see a yellow marker, which allows me to select automatically different fittings which are coming from this particular database. So I can lay down now my pipeline using different fittings, and also I can do that in 3D view if I want to. I will end it up, and if I want to see now my pipe properties, or do something with my pipe, I need to select it twice, because at first I select my alignment, and then second click will do the trick and select my pressure pipe. Now I edit my pipe style to actually show pipe inside and also outside pipe walls. Now if I zoom in, I can now directly see that uh, my pipe has wall thickness, and it is based on SDR class. So it means that if I change my pipe to different SDR class, also my wall thickness will change. So that my pipe will always represent real-life pipe diameter. Also outside inside diameters. I can go to now into 3D view and I can see also electrofusion fittings. And this pipe will start from the fitting and also will end inside the fitting because it's a uh, basically push-on type of fitting. I can also select my pipe and check pipe properties. They have also changed in this release, more information, and also unified with pipe network data. 
as much as possible. So for example, part family name, also material, also compatible standard, but also material required strength value and design coefficient if those are available in that particular standard or manufacturer data sheet. I can also select my fitting in the same way as a pipe and I can select fitting properties and again in here I can see a lot more data about that. Let's create now a different parts list and in here I will select my manufacturer database. Also those fittings were manufacturer based but uh, in here I also select my pipes from manufacturer based catalog. So I add up multiple catalogs again and then I go to pressure pipes and I will assign new pipes and sizes. Also in here right click and add sizes and I can see that uh, I do have different diameters, also PE100. And if I scroll down, then this particular pipe type also have RC2 plus layers and also 3 plus layers. And all divided into STR classes. Again, I can use filtering, but I move forward and uh, select fittings. And I will add now segmented fittings, elbow and T. And I will include also sizes in here. Again, I don't have any appurtenances, so I move forward and will start to lay down this pipeline. Okay, again, I will close up my ribbon tab and will select again pressure pipe network tools. I select now different parts list. I select my starting pipe diameter for example, RC2 plus layers, SDR11, and then I start to create my pipeline. And I can see that um, fittings do have much larger diameters available as well. But again, you can mix and match all different catalogs. And for fittings, I also can change my visual style so that I can see it in 3D view. And in here, you see that my pipe start from end of my fitting or start of my fitting. I can go to 3D view and select my pressure pipe again to show actually that manufacturer specific component also have additional information available. That can be pulled into your labels or takeoffs for whatever purpose you need it. Also you can include that into your property sets. Okay, that was about uh, freshly updated pressure network catalog that can be freely downloaded. Please do test by yourself and uh, just comment down below this video or you can also comment at Autodesk App Store. You can also include comments about uh, future releases, your wish list. Please do subscribe to my channel to get notifications about my new videos and see you next time. Bye bye!